here today with one of our favorite patients. She is looking to get her calves a little bit slimmed down because she feels like her calves are a little oversized or would you say masculine? This kind of... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think so. I think big calves are beautiful, but you know, um, she's self-conscious about them. So even though they're, they're, they're not quite symmetric, um, this side is a bit larger than this side. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. um, like if you go on top, mm -hmm. this side is a little bit bigger than this side. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to slim both of them down just a little bit, but maybe more so on this side than the other. And um, we have our Botox ready. The um, Botox is going to weaken the muscle a little bit, but other than that, there should be no other effects. In other words, she can still walk and run and do everything as she normally does. So we're going to go ahead and start. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're done on that side. Okay. We'll go over to this side. How is your pain? Oh, none. None. Zero. Wonderful. Yeah. Good. Okay. One, two, three. Tippy toes. Okay, great. One more time, tippy toes. Okay, great. And we're done. The Botox is gonna kick in in about seven to 10 days. Okay. But the atrophy, the atrophy of the muscle is gonna take a little bit longer than that. It'll take probably a month or two okay. um, for you to start seeing the results. Okay. And then at about three to six months, we can we can do it again. Okay. Um, but if you're happy with it at that point, then you're all, you know, you're all set. Um, we can also continue with a maintenance dose, with like the half of what we did today, just to maintain. Okay. All right, that's about it.